Starting, stopping, steering, and targeting. It takes considerable skill and practice to develop habits that will allow you to move the vehicle smoothly as you accelerate, steer, and brake. To start the engine, set the parking brake. The parking brake should be already on from the last time it was parked. The shift lever should be in park. The engine can only be started from the park or neutral positions. Place your right foot on the brake pedal. This will keep your foot off the accelerator and in position when the parking brake is released. With the shift selector in park or neutral, insert the key and turn the key to the start position. Insert the key and turn the ignition switch to on. Continue turning the key to start the engine. Release the key as soon as the engine starts to avoid damage to the starter. You can see on the slide, you've got the accessory, like the lights, that type deal, uh, radio, the lock position, the on, and then the start position. Check the gauges, warning lights, and fuel supply. Turn on the headlights if they don't come on automatically after starting the car. Get in the habit of driving with your headlights on during the day to help other drivers see your vehicle. Imagine that the steering wheel is the face of a clock. Place your hands at 9 and 3 positions or 8 and 4. A 9, 3 or an 8, 4 position will give you a balanced grip and help you avoid injury if the airbag in your vehicle steering wheel deploys during a collision. Always keep your knuckles and thumbs on the outside of the rim of the steering wheel to reduce injury. Using a target helps you steer the vehicle with pinpoint accuracy. A target is a fixed object far out in the distance that appears to be in the center of the path that you intend to drive. A target serves as an aiming point for where you want your vehicle to go. Using targets will give you the ability to steer your vehicle accurately. To steer the vehicle, turn the steering wheel so that the center of it is aligned with the target. Don't use the road lines as a guide for where to look when you practice steering. Hand over hand. This method is best to use when you need to make tight right turns or to make quick steering actions to correct a skid. This will give you maximum movement of the steering wheel in a short period of time. Begin with the hands in a balanced 9-3 position. To make a right turn, begin with the right hand at the 3 position and pull down to the 5. Move the left hand up to the 12 position, grip the wheel and pull down to the 5 position. Cross the right hand over the left to the 12 position and con continue turning to the 5 position. To straighten the steering wheel, turn the steering wheel back using the left side of the wheel. To make a left turn, use the left side of the steering wheel starting at the 9 position. The best method, this hand-to-hand -hand steering, this method is best when there's a need for small steering adjustments such as making a left turn or going to a slight curve. This method will keep your body balanced behind the steering wheel and prevent your hands from crossing the area of the steering wheel in which the airbag is stored. Begin with your hands in the 8-4 position. To make a left turn, grip the wheel with your right hand at the 4 position. Slide your left hand to the 10 position. Grip the, grip the wheel and pull down to the 7 position. Push the right hand up to the 2 position. Slide, left hand, slide the left hand up to the 10 position. With your left hand, pull the steering wheel down to the 7 position while sliding the right hand down to the 4 position. Continue to pull and push as more steering is needed. And guys, this is something that we need to practice. It's not, I mean, we can talk about it all day. It's going to be better if you practice it. Put in the vehicle in motion. A vacant parking lot is a good place to practice good driving behaviors. Put your right foot on the brake. Keep the ball of your foot on the brake pedal and the heel of your foot on the floorboard. Shift into drive by placing your open palm under the shift, shift, shift lever and moving it towards your body and into the drive position. Keep your foot on the brake pedal. Locate the parking brake and release the lever without looking at it. Before taking your foot off the brake, check the path of travel you want the vehicle to take. Look to the left, front, and right of your car. Check the rear view and outside mirrors. Check your blind spot. Make blind spot area checks. Even with side view mirrors, there are blind spots where you may not be able to see another vehicle. Look over your shoulder towards the side you will be moving into, or move your head forward while you're checking the outside mirror. On the picture, the dark shading indicates blind spots. Never, ever rely on your mirrors when checking for vehicles in the rear. When you're ready to move, take your foot off the brake and allow the vehicle's idling engine to begin moving the vehicle before pressing the accelerator. Press the accelerator smoothly.